Okay, welcome everyone as we broadcast here once again for the final time this trip from uh, Hancock Park in Los Angeles from the uh, wonderful home of, uh, oh boy, here we go. From the wonderful home of. Guys, uh, have voice? Yes. We hear you. From the wonderful home, as we once again broadcast, from the wonderful home of uh, Jonathan Weiss uh, and his wife Khani uh, from LA. And uh, we are dedicated in this new Masechta by A.B. Spry for the safety of the soldiers, which is extremely. That, Saba, everybody has a voice here. Uh, as we, um, as uh, uh, everybody else hears me, right? Yeah. Uh, as as we uh, have heard that there is very, very, very ferocious fighting right now. So we learn for our soldiers and for the safety of Claudius, and especially we also learn for the safety of Issa Zev Ben Yuta. Uh, we are sponsored by uh, Shimon Klein, Lili Nishmas, his parents, Asher Anshel Ben Yehuda, Gittel Bar Shimon Pinchus, together with Irving Fishbaum, for his Emir Tzashem Refur Shalema, for his upcoming surgery, Yisr Ben Rezel, and for his uh, health and well-being uh, for a very long time. Uh, we are uh, uh, joined by El Rebellia Yafi, Saba, Irving Fishbaum, Eddie Chazan, Mel Zachter, Mordechai Sultan, Nachman Chapler, Avi Amante, A.B. Spry, Shimon Klein, Stephen Holtzman, uh, Berish Gesserman, uh, by Mark Frankel, uh, and Chaim Kramer, uh, by Marshall Castle, Naftali Jablon, uh, Yitzi Muller, Abe Arbach, and uh, I see joining us now uh, Bruce Eisenberg and... Uh, Anna, you got boys? Hey, Baba. Uh, I, I'm not. Uh, hey, Baba, Yitzi Muller, Aaron Swade. Um, we are holding on Daf Gimel and Aleph. And we are, again, remember, we introduced the uh, damages of Regel which is the damage that an animal does in the course of its normal walking, and shame, which is the damage that an animal does when eating and having benefit. So, Amar Vishilach Zua Regel. It says, Vishilach Espi'iroi. You send out the animal. That refers to the damages that the animal does while walking. Vichainu Oimer. And like it says in the Pasik, Mishal Regal, you will send out the feet of Ashar Vachamar. Hashem will give a good harvest, and you'll send out the feet of your uh, axe to harvest and the Chamar to cart the food home. Now the Gemara wonders why do we need to prove time of the cost of Rahman Mishal Regal Ashar Vachamar? It's only because we have an association with the word Bishilach to Mishalchei Regal Ashar Bechamar, that we know it's talking about Regal, Holav Hochi B'may Mokmesla. If not, what would you think that Vishilach Espeiroi is referring to? E Karen Ksiv. If it's Karen, it already says uh, the Goring, it already says Kiyigach, uh, E Shane, and if it's the eating, Ksiv. It says, Uvir b'steacher, it consumes in another field. So Vashilach as a regal has to be talking about uh, the damages while an animal walks. It says you want to know Itzrich. We need to make the connection in the word Vashilach to Mishalke a regal, Shavachamar, because Salkadaitach Amina, otherwise I might have thought, Aidi Aidi Ashen. Both refer to the damage that an animal does while eating. Vahadi Michal Yakarna. One is talking about where the animal uh, consumes the, the principle. In other words, he eats the crop 
and it doesn't grow back, so he destroys the principle. And one is talking about where the animal doesn't destroy completely the, uh, uh, the plants. For example, the, and the, it could be talking about a case where the animal uh, ate a row of plants early in the season and it's going to grow back, right? And no, that, then the only chiv is in the difference that it uh, would have been better and now it's more poor quality. So it's telling you that you're even chayiv in that case. So maybe the both the Pachsikovir Bistei Acher is talking about Shein, and Vishila Chesbira is talking about Shein. One is it, would, it destroys it entirely, and one is only where it weakens it. Kamash Mulan. But now the Gemara says, Vahashtu de Kimna Regal. Now that we say Vishila Chesbira is talking about the damage that the animal does while it's walking. So then we would only have one pasuk about eating, uvir b'steyacher, it consumes in another field. That will say when it destroys the plants entirely, when it, when it makes it worth less, how do you know, how do you know the yachayim? So the Gemara says, well, dumya deregel, because it's similar to the damage when the animal walks. Ma regel, by an animal where it walks. There the Pusik doesn't make a distinction whether it destroys it entirely or not. Because it just says with Shilach, you send it out when it w- walks. By Shane it says it destroys. So I might have thought only when it completely destroys it. But by regular it doesn't say anything about destroying. So by regular it's however it damages. Af Shane also, so also by Shane, Loishna Mechal Yakarna, it makes no difference whether it, it makes no difference whether it, uh, whether it uh, destroys it completely or it just, it, it, the animal ate it when it was young and it grows back later, but it grows back a poorer quality, you have to pay the difference. Okay, now the Gemara says, let's look at the other side. Amama, we said, uvir b'steyacher, and it consumes in another field, zuashen, that's the damage of an animal eating. And how do we know it's the dam- damage of an animal eating? Because v'cheinu aimer, because the Pasuk says, kasha yevarer hagolol atumai, like the gullah, which we said is a tooth, which sometimes it's revealed, sometimes it's not revealed, sometimes it's nigla, sometimes it's not. As the tooth uh, consumes until it's finished. So now, time the cause of It's only because we have the uh, similarity between the word of vir acher and kashe yavar hagolo. Otherwise, we wouldn't know. Otherwise, halavachi b'mayu kimdala. Why do I need the association of the words? Uvir b'steyacher has to be talking about shame because otherwise, what's it talking about? E Karen, if it's talking about goring ksev, it already says ki yigach shor. E regel, it already ksev, it already says v'shilach esbeira. It must be talking about shame. So here Gemara goes the other way. Itzrich. So I might think both Vishilach Espiray and the Pasik of Bir Bisteacher is talking about when the animal damages in the course of its walking. And Hod Ozal Mamela, one is it where it walked into Mel's field on its own, and Hod is Shalach Shaluchi, and when is where I one is where I sent it into Mel's field and it did damage. Now, if it would only say Vishilach as Birai, I would only say I'm Chayiv if I sent it there. So therefore, I would think it says Obir Bisteyacher, that even if it goes there by itself and does damage, I'm also, I'm also Chayiv. Kamash Mulan, no. Bir Bisteyacher is not talking about Regal, another type of Regal. It's talking about shame. So now the Gemara asks, again, the other way around. Bahashta de Amrit. Now that we've set, established uh, that Uvir B'steyacher is talking about the damage of eating. 
So regal the ozel memela minolan. How do we know the case where my animal walks alone into Mel's field and does damage that I'm chayiv? So the Gemara says, "Do me the shein." It's similar to shein. Ma shein loishna shilcha shluche loishna dozel memela. By eating, the pasuk doesn't. It just says avir b'steacher. It eats in another field. It doesn't make a distinction where I sent it or where it went on its own. Af regal, even though the pasuk says v'shilach es beirai. It makes no difference if I sent the animal into Mel's field, or if it went on its own, I'm chayiv. So the Gemara says, okay, the licht of Rachmana v'shilach. Here now the Gemara says, you know something? The word v'shilach could refer both to Shane and Regal. And I don't need to say Yubir b'steacher at all. As we welcome in Mel, uh, 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 we welcome him. Mo Kushner is joining us, and Baruch Ian has joined us. Bruce Eisenberg has joined us. Uh, Yitzhi Muller, Rabbi Kranz, Abe Arbach, as we have 30 Zoomers here this evening, uh, and that's really nice to see. Uh, Shimon Deer, I see. Marshall Castle, 20 more, and Marshall gets himself bourbon. Uh, you know, and he wants to be bourboned up for this Masechta. Well, I got close to earning it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, and we're going to even count a few people on Facebook. So, you know, Marshall, you're on your way. Come on, let's go. Uh, the, uh, the, so the, the, the Gemara now uh, says, I don't understand why does it have to say both Vishilach Espiroi, which we said is Regal, or Bia Besteacha, which is said is Shane, the Licht of Rachman of Vishilach, the Loi Boy of and it doesn't need to say of Bia Besteacha at all, because Vishilach is Mashma Regal or Mashma Shane. It could apply both to the damage of the animal that the animal does while walking and to the animal that does while eating. Mashma regal, that we already cited the Pasik, the Siv Mishalke regal Ashar Bakamar, that in a time of good harvest you'll send out the feet of your ox and your donkey. O Mashma Shain, Shilach is also Mashma Shain, the Siv is Shain Behemos Ashalach Bam, and the teeth of the beast I shall send against them. In other words, the, the, the Pasik, uh, this is, this is uh, uh, part of the Teichacha. In uh, Kisavai, that Veshein Behem is a Shalachbam. I will send the teeth of animals against them if they sin. So you see that a uh, Shalach, Shilach, could also refer to the damage of Shein. So the Gemara says, well, Elav Kro Yisera, if not for the extra posik of Bir Bisteacher, Havamina Oiha Oiha. I would say either one or the other. Oi Regel. Matzi, or, or the damage where an animal walks, whose damage is very uh, frequent and common, or eating where the animal gets pleasure. So the Gemara says, no. We wouldn't say one or the other. We'd say, they're both equal in uh, that you should be responsible for both. And we have a law, Shkulunayim, V'yavayishnayim. We should include both. The Hemi which one would we exclude? Says, well, no. It's true. So could I tachamina, if we would learn it out both from the Pasuk of Vishila, then we would think it's only when I send the animal into Mel's uh, uh, field and it either damages by the foot or it eats. So could I tachamina, animile echidu shalok shalukai, aval ozlam emela, but if it goes on its own, loy, Kamash Malan, that's why it has to say Yuvir Bisteyach. Now remember, we got into this whole discussion because Rab Papa made a comment. We asked, since there's Ovois, that in- in- indicates that there are Toldois, and we wanted to know are the Toldois like the Ovois or the, are they not like the Ovois? So Rab Papa said some Toldois are like the Ovois and some Toldois are not like the Ovois. And we're gonna we're trying to find out which derivatives are not like the others, are not like the principle. So the Gemara says, first let's identify told the Shain Mahi. What's the, the derivatives of an animal eating Mel's crops? 
Well, if the animal brushes against Mark's wall for its gratification, for its pleasure, right? It, it, it has a scratch, so it rushes against his wall, not to top of the wall. That would be Karen. But he's brushing in order to get a back rub. And the wall falls down. Or the tin for Paris Lanasa. Or it squats down on Shin, Shimon's fruit and goes to the bathroom. So it's getting relief of going to the bathroom. That's also pleasure. So those are all toldos of shame. So the Gemara says, well, here, again, the toldos have to be the same as the others. Because Maish not shame. The Yesh There's benefit when it damages. It's your money. You're responsible for it. You're responsible to watch it. Haninami, the back rub and the uh, going to the bathroom, they get benefit when they do damage. And it's your money, and you're responsible. You're responsible to guard it. Ella told her to Shane, to Shane, you're right, that the derivatives of Shane are the same thing as eating. The Chikamara Papa that there are told us that are not like the of, are told her the regal, must be on the derivatives of regal. Told her the regal, Mahi, what's a derivative? of the principle of the animal damaging while it walks. If it damages with its body while it's walking. While it's walking, it knocks something down. Uh, if it damages with the hair of its body, with the uh, pack saddle that's on it. With the bit in its mouth, it damages with the bell around its neck. So the Gemara says again, well, the told is the same as the of. Maishno regal the Hezekai Motsi. Its damage is common. It's your money, and you're responsible to watch it. So Hani Nami, here also, Hani Nami Hezekai Motsi, the damage is common. It's your money, and you're responsible. Ella told the regal, Kerega. The derivative of regal is like regal. The chikama rapapa, and when does rapapa say the, his statement that the tolda is not like the of? It must be a tolda the bar. It must be on a derivative of a pit. We know that there's one of the others in the Mishnah is bar. Is if you have a pit, if you make a pit in the Rishasarab and an animal falls in it. So the Gemara says, tolda the bar, my new. What's a derivative of bar? Now I have to tell you that the, the, the Torah says if you dig a bar and an animal fa- falls in and dies. And we're going to learn later on in the Masechta that you're only chayiv if an animal dies if the bar was ten tfachim deep. If it's less than ten tfachim deep, the animal shouldn't have died. And if it dies, it's not attributed to the bar. So the Gemara says, so what's a tolda and what's an av? Ilema av yud, av is when it's ten tfachim deep. The tolda test and the tolda is when it's nine tfachim deep. The Gemara says, loy test We said an av is something that's written in the Torah. It doesn't say nine. V'lo yuk It doesn't say ten tfachim in the Torah. Says the Gemara, Aloy Kasha. That's not a difficulty. It says when a, 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 a shark falls in your bar, right? So the, the din is that the bala bar has to pay. Recording in progress. The, the, bala, the bala bar has to pay. And uh, the bala. Recording stopped. The, the, bala, the bala bar has to pay. And the recording in progress. Recording stopped. The balabar has to pay, and the uh, the the, the um, balabar gets to keep the corpse. So you see that the the pasik is talking about when the animal dies. So Ames Yiloy Abarachmana. The Kim Lul Rabbanon and the Rabbanon have established that Yud of Don Misa, that 
ten tefachim cause death of an animal. Tes nezikin avdei, misa loy avdei. Nine tefachim causes damage and not death. So the Gemara suggests that since the Pasuk says, Vamesi so it's talking about what the animal dies, so that's enough. Where the animal gets damaged, that's a tolda. So the Gemara says, that won't work. That, that, that won't work. Saif, saif, ze avla misa, ve ze avla nizaken. There's a source in the Tyra for where the animal dies, because it says, if you make a bar, and vames yelai, but there's another Pasik, as Rashi says in his second pshat, there's, a, there's another Pasik, it says, v'nofal shama shor archamar, which implies that you're chayiv, whether it dies, whether it gets damaged. So you see that if it's ninth vachim and it gets damaged, then that's an av for nezikin. So what's a tolda? Ella says the Gemara, av noi sakino yomasai, if you put down a, a rock, or a knife, or your backpack, that you left it as a stumbling block in the Rishus Arabim, and it did damage, that's a told of a bar. So the Gemara says, hey, dummy, what's the case? If you renounce your ownership on the backpack, on the rock, on the knife, then bain the rav, bain the shmuel, whether according to Rav or according to Shmuel, everybody agrees in that case, Hainu Bar. We'll see Rav and Shmuel argue if you don't renounce ownership. But if you renounce ownership, it's like a bar that you dig in the Rosh Hashanah, which is not yours, and you're chayv. So that's the same thing as bar. If you didn't renounce your backpack, so il Shmuel, that we learn all obstacles from bar. So I know bar. Then it's the same thing. What's the difference if it's an av or a tolda? That if you own it, you're chayiv because it's your possession. So we learn it out just like a shor does damage and it's your possession. So if your backpack does damage, it's your possession and you're chayiv, then I know So my bar. She came tchilas asiyos lenezik. From the get go, it was a menace because as soon as you dug it into Rishus Rabbim, it was a menace. Oh my and it's your, it's your money. Ushmi rasa alecha, and you uh, are responsible to watch it. Now. The, the Taisa says that the word Mamaincha over here really is just thrown in, but it's not accurate over here. Says Taisa, it's a very interesting Taisa. If you look at the second Taisa, O Mamaincha lav dafka gabe bar. The lav Mamaincha, the bar is not your money. And Taisa says, Vichain gabe ish. It's also. Uh, uh, it's also true by fire, that if you light a fire, even if the fire is not yours, you're going to be chayiv. So here the Gemara says, We sometimes find that we say a full statement borrowed from somewhere else, and one piece of it doesn't apply. But the, the bar is a menace as soon as you dig it, and you're responsible to watch it. Hani Nami, when you put it down in the Rosh Hashanah, a knife, a, ba- a rock, and uh, uh, your backpack, it's a nezik, it's a menace right away, and you're responsible to watch it. Ella says, the Gemara told her the bar, the derivatives of bar, other obstacles, is like a bar in your chayev. The chikam, a rapap, it must be that when rapapa says, told the lavka, it's a bam. It must be a told the mave. <laughs> so what is mave? My new Ilishmul the Amar Mave Zushain. That Mave means uh, eating consumption. 
But we said the damage of shame, the told of shame, which is when the animal rubs because he has an itch, or when he relieves himself and he has hana, told of shame kishem. Il arav dama mave ze odom. We're going to see that there's an opinion that mave is odom amazik. My obvious and my told us this way. What's the principles and derivatives by odom amazik? The chi tema of near. The av by Adam Amazik is when he's awake, told the Yashin, and the derivative is. And a, and a derivative is when. And a derivative is when he, he's sleeping. That's not true. Uh, by, by Adam, it's the same. By, by, by Adam, it's the same whether he's awake or whether he's asleep. Says the Gemara. Uh, says, 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 says the Gemara. Um, Bechitema Avniyot. Told the Yashin, but to not Adam or Lailam. Adam is. No, nothing, I'm sorry. And it puts on mood. He doesn't have me, but. When it says Adam Mood Lailam, a person is, is mood always. A <laughs> person is mood always, whether he's Bain Er, Bain Yashin, whether he's awake, whether he's asleep. Ella Aki Chayveniyai. It must be referring to his mucus, to his phlegm, to his saliva. So hechidomi ibadi da ozel kamaskebu. If he spits at somebody, if he blows his nose at somebody and and hurts him, uh, that's koychay haba. That's the that's koych of an adam. That's regular adam amazik. That's force. And ibasa denayich. And if he left it there on the floor for somebody to slip on, now of course he's mafker that. And if he's mafker that, that's. Bar according to both Rav and Shmuel, Bain the Rav, Bain the Shmuel, Hainu Bar. Ella told her the Mava Kimava, whether Mava is Shane, whether Mava is Adam Amazik, the told us are like the others. It must be the Chi Kamara Papa that the told her is different than the Av, it must be a told her Deish. It must be a derivative of fire. So the Gemara says, told her Deish, my Neil. What's a derivative of fire? If it means a rock, or a knife, or a backpack, that he left on the ledge of his roof, and a, a wind, a regular wind, an expected wind came, and blew it, and hurt somebody, and if while it was in the air, it damaged someone, Hainu Eish. It's the same thing as fire. Maishna Eish. De Koyach Achar Me'uruv Bahen. It has another force mixed in with it. The wind carries the fire. Oma Moincha, and it's your money. And again, Taisa says it's Lav Davka. Ushmi Rasan Alecha, and you're responsible to watch it. You're responsible to watch it. Hani Nami, these also. Saba Mami, I hear you. You can't interrupt the share. Hani Nami, these two. Here also, uh, when he leaves the the backpack, the knife, on the uh, on on the ledge, and it damages somebody, that's also uh, that's also age. Uh, so therefore, Iba hadi da ozli kamaske haynu eish maishna eish de kaya hakam uruv bem amumayin chashmir asal alecha and you're responsible for it. Hani nami ki kaya hakam uruv bem the wind carries the knife, the backpack amumayin chashmir asal alecha and you're responsible. Ella told the eish ke eish a derivative of fire is fire. The chi kamer apapa told the regal it's a derivative of regal. Says the Gemara, wait a second. Regal, ha kimna told the regal, keregal. 
we established that the derivative of regal is like regal. We said, what's a derivative of regal? With the animal damages with its body while walking, or with the bell on its neck, or the bit in its mouth. Says the Gemara, no, there is one damage of regal that's not like the Av. Remember, regal pays a nezik shalom. But if a chicken is walking and it steps on the pebble and the pebble jumps out and breaks a window, that's called sreiris, the damage of a pebble, and it's halach l'mayshu misinai that it doesn't pay a nezek shalom, it only pays a chatzin nezek. So let's see that's inside, says the Gemara. Uh, Rather, it's Hol Kim the total regal karegal, the nezek sreiris, the damages of a half a damage of where the animal uh, steps on a pebble and the pebble shoots out and breaks a window. The ilchas a gemira, it's alocha meisim yisinai, that sreiris pays a chatzin nezek. Now, vamai kori lo tolda de regal. Why is it called the tolda de regal? Since it's a chatzin nezek, shouldn't it be more uh, compared to Karen, because Karen, a tam, a first or second time pays a chatzin nezek. So, my curler told the regal. Ah, he calls it a told the regal, a shalem in aliyah, that it should pay from the best. The din is that a tam pays only from the body of the animal. But chatzin nezek tsrairis, you have to pay from the best real estate says the Gemara, but that's not so simple. Vame boy boy Rava, that's an inquiry of Rava. The boy Rava, Chatsi Nezek Tsrigris, the half damages of Tsrigris, Migufay Mishalm, is it only from the body of the animal? Oymin Aliyah Mishalm, or does it pay from the best of the real estate? Says the Gemara, L'Rava me boy lay, for Rava that's a shayla. L'Rapapa pshita lay. But Rapapa is sure that it pays from Metav, from the best. The Rava did me like, but according to Rava, who says maybe Chatzin Nezek is from the animal, so then why do we call it a tolda of Regal? We should call it a tolda of Karen. Am I curry a tolda de Regal? Ah, le poitra barishasarabim. To exempt in the Rishasarabim. The din is that Regal, if an animal da- damages in the course of its walking, it doesn't pay. In, uh, in in the Rishi Saram. It says, Mishilach has Be'irai, and it goes into a Steyachar, into Mel's field. But Regal doesn't pay in the Rishi Sarabim. And here also, the din is that Sreiris doesn't pay if it happens in the Rishi Saram. Now the Gemara says, we're going to now, Hamave Vahever, the Gemara says, let us do a diagnostic, now, we, we mentioned it in passing, but the, the Av of Mave, what is it? So my Mave, Rav Ama Mave is the Adam, Mave is the damage of a human, Vishmul Ama Mave is the Hashem, Mave is the damage done by the animal eating with his teeth. Rav Ama Mave is the Adam, now Rabbi say this is a Gemara, that really deserves an entire shear. Rav Amar Maviz Adam, Maviz Adam Dixiv, it says in the Pasik, Omar Shoimer, the guard said, Asa Baiker, morning is going to arrive, that's uh, redemption and uh, Ganeden for the Tzaddik, Vigam Laila, and also night, darkness and Gehenim for the Russia. If you will seek to do tshuva, you should do tshuva. So here we find a remarkable thing. That's, that's the way Rashi learns the Pasik. Look at Rashi. Look at Rashi. If you will Return and repent and seek forgiveness, but are you? So you see that man is considered mavet. He seeks to do tshuva. 
he seeks to repent. Now, we, we have to understand that Rav is telling us a remarkable thing. That the essence of a human being is the desire to change. And this, this is what I told you, that the Gemara in Menachem says, Ki Hashem Ilamim, with Yud Hei he created Olam Abba and Olam Azeh, with Hei he created this world, and the Gemara says why? Because the Hei is open in the end, in the bottom, and if you don't hold on, you're going to fall into the abyss. And the Gemara says why is there a crack on the left side of the Hei? That if you want to come back, you could come back. The Gemara says, why don't you come back where you fell? And the Gemara says, well, you stay in Milsa. You have to, if you want to come back, you have to take a different route. But the bottom line is, is that we see from here, the letter that this world was created for, its message, there could be many messages. Its message is to come back. And that's what the Gemara says over here. Ma veze odam. The essence of a person is a person is constantly trying to change to daven better, to speak better, to, 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 to give more charity, it, to be more sensitive. It, it's always about change. That's the essence of man. Now, Vishmul Amar, Shmuel says, Mava Zehashen. Mava is the teeth, the eating. The chsiv, Eich nech b'shu Esav, uh, how Esav will be um, Undone, Nivu Matspunov, his treasures will be revealed. So we see Nivu is revealed like the teeth that are sometimes revealed. My mashma. So the Gemara says, How does Nivu come to teeth? Kidimatagam Rav Yosef, Ichten is labish Asaf, Ichten is balish Asaf, Asaf will be abolished, is Galin Matmarui, his treasures will be uncovered. So we see Nivu refers to a revelation, like the teeth that are revealed. So for Rav, my time, why doesn't Rav say that, she, that, that Mava refers to, to Shane? Amalach, he says, Mi kitani Nive? Does it say Nive? If, if, if it meant Shane, it should say Nive, like the Pasik Nivu. Vishmu, my time, Rav. And Shmu, why doesn't he say like Rav? Amalach mi ketani bua, a seeker. So the Gemara says, well, the bottom line is that it's not really grammatically correct, correct like either of them. It's not gra- grammatically correct like either of them. So Rav, my time, Eloyama Kishmul. Rav, why doesn't he say that Mava refers to the damage of shame? So Rav says, Tona Shar, when the Mishnah says, Arba Ovis Nazikin, and it says Shar, the Shar refers to all three uh, categories of Shar. It's Shar Bekol Mile de Shar, Karen, Regal, and Shane. So Mava has to be Odom Amazik. Vishmul Nami Hatoni Le Shar. Amar Rav Yehuda, he says, Tona Shar Le Karnai. When it says Shar, that's referring to the damage with the horn, which is. Uh, unusual and it's premeditated. Omava l'shenai, and mava refers to the t- tooth, and it needs two different. Uh, so, uh, it needs two different categories because, as the Mishnah says, Mahachi kama, you wouldn't be able to learn one from the other. Loi roi akaren she'ein hanol azikai, the horn is not the same. It doesn't have any benefit when it goes. Kuroya Shain, like tooth, Shiyesha no Lazika. It does have de- benefit when it damages. Voloi Roy Hashain, and Shain is not the same. Shain Kavona Salazik, there's no intent to do damage. Kuroya Karen, when the animal uh, you know, goes and goes, She Kavona Salazik. And therefore, that's the way Shmuel learns the sequence of the Psukim. And we are just getting underway in this Masech, the Rabbi say it will take a few days to get uh, used to it, so be patient. And uh, we're going to do now the Mishnah Yaimis. Let's just ask a question. Be'ezus Hashem, Be'ez Hashem, tomorrow uh, we will um, have Shir 
But as is Hashem, I'm flying back later tonight after I do a CM here in California, and then I hope to be broadcasting the Shir and saying the Mishnah Yomis from Fearways tomorrow with the help of Hashem.